Hey, it's me, Lucid. You know, the one that makes real dark web videos. This video is made in collaboration with Opal Heart, the person that made the site Hidden Answers on the Deep Web. He is showing us today how exactly to stay completely safe while you're on the dark web and we should take his advice because he obviously owns a site on there and he knows what he's doing. Step one, never ever use Windows. I know I am a big fault in this because I use Windows for all of my previous videos. Uh, a lot of you guys called me out in the comments and I hear you, I know that I'm wrong. But using Windows is extremely bad, especially for accessing the dark web, if you wanna be completely anonymous because Windows itself is probably the most if I'm not mistaken, the most unsecure operating system that you can ever use. So Windows has a lot of security vulnerabilities and using it will not keep you safe on the dark web. Instead, you're going to be using something called Tails. You see, Tails is the safest operating system. It is based off of Linux and Tails will refresh itself every single time that you use it. And the best part is it won't even run off of your computer. It will actually run off of a USB stick. Tails can run off a USB stick and every time that you start it up, it's literally running off of a small memory drive. And if something happens to that drive, you just throw it away and buy a new one for $10. Better yet, you can still run Tails on a virtual machine so that you can still be on your regular Windows computer just in a virtual machine that is running Tails. This is actually easier to set up so that you don't have to restart your computer every single time that you want to go on Tails. It will always be on your computer as a program. So this will take about four or five minutes to set up. So I'll put the actual tutorial later on in this video. The next step is to turn off JavaScript before you enter a site that may contain malicious content. I again messed up for this one on my first dark web video. I had a chat room with a bunch of links. And if I were to click on those links, I would have saw something that would have been extremely illegal. So if you were ever in the case where you don't know what is behind the link, there's no description for it, there's no one telling you what's behind the actual link that you're gonna click on, you have to turn off JavaScript. This is because JavaScript is a programming language that actually runs automatically as soon as you turn on or access that site. If you have JavaScript off, then you won't be able to see the images that lie behind the site. This will keep you more safe in case the image is illegal or it is harmful or it's malicious or it may even scar you. This is actually a must because if you are going to an illegal site and you have JavaScript off, the chances are of you actually seeing anything illegal is gonna be very, very slim to none. Also, the chances of you actually being scarred is gonna be slim to none as well. On the other hand, if you do know what is going to be on the site, if you've seen somebody else on it, if you've seen it in a dark web link review, web page or video, then you probably don't have to be worried about this. But just again, if you're getting a link from anybody that you don't trust or that you don't know, always be skeptical and always, always turn off JavaScript before you enter a site that you have not been to yet. The next step is a virtual private network, a VPN. You've heard about it, everyone's heard about it. If you haven't, you've probably been living under a rock, especially if trying to get into a dark web. Come on now. All a VPN is going to do while you're on tour isn't keep you more safe, but it's going to not let your internet service provider know that you're on the dark web or that you're on tour. This can be beneficial if you're gonna do anything like buy things on the dark web that aren't necessarily legal. Not only is a VPN useful if you don't want anybody knowing that you're on tour or the dark web, but on the regular web, things can be just as scary if somebody gets your IP address, kind of like how mine got leaked before I was using mine properly. So the VPN that I use is private internet access and I'll show you guys exactly what it's like. So this is my real IP address and this is my VPN IP address. Right here I can go to Chicago, I can go to Toronto, Montreal, Vancouver, literally anywhere in the world I can change my IP to any country and let's say i want to go to toronto i let that connect and i am in toronto with this vpn ip address one cool thing about my vpn is that it has a vpn kill switch this prevents leaked ip addresses by not even allowing me to enter a website unless my vpn is on this actually turns on by itself with my computer startup at all times so once you have pia downloaded this is the maximum protection that you can get just following these little things that i have right here is the handshake the authentication and the data encryption you're going to want to use these if you're doing any risky business on the dark web but if you're just your average user this is going to be perfectly fine because it's still safe and it's still extremely fast i've been using private internet access for over two years now and i really love what they do so i got affiliated with them if you want to support me and the channel you can use the link in the description below to get signed up or if not you can just go onto their site and sign up that way first download virtualbox then download tails after you download tails put them side by side so you can see them together then press machine new put any name of your choice for type press linux for version press other linux 64 they say to put two gigs of RAM. I say four because four is more and why not more? Then press do not add a virtual hard drive. Create, continue, right click on your machine, press settings, press on system, enable IO APIC is on, then go to storage, press on empty, click on the CD button to the right, choose a virtual optical disk drive. Now pick up tails, drop it in there and press on it. 
press on applications, then Tor browser, and that's all. So that's all it on the software side of things, but no, you aren't finished just yet. Yes, you might be pretty secure, and yes, your computer might be as safe as it possibly can be, but if you don't know what to do up here, then you can just as easily leak yourself by accident. So right now, we're gonna change your behavioral process on the dark web or on the internet in general, so you don't leak your own IP address or so you don't give anybody too much information that you shouldn't. So now, since your computer is at its maximum security, they can't hack your machine, but they can hack your brain through social engineering. Social engineering is when somebody uses their words to manipulate you into giving out information that you probably shouldn't have given out it seems like yeah i'm not going to be an idiot and give out my address but little by little they can ask for some information and if you give it to them that can build up to identify you and who you are without even having to hack anything or attack you at all a lot of people especially opal Hart, the owner of the hidden answer site that i was telling you guys about earlier he doesn't give anybody his real name yes opal Hart is not his name he's been going by the alias for i'm guessing many many years now and nobody knows his real name on the internet and that's honestly the best way to be then just use fake names uh use fake everything fake birth dates names and don't give anybody anything that can be remotely traceable back to you the easiest way to not get socially engineered is to not press any links from anybody unless you have your vpn on this is how i got my ip address leaked a couple times back when i was stupid i actually clicked on a link and it was a grabify link when you press on that link people can instantly see your ip address and anybody can do it a seven-year-old a nine-year-old a ten-year-old can do it so if they can do it just imagine what these older guys that have a little bit more brain power can actually do to you don't click on any links unless your ip address is completely secure or if you're using tor browser that's going to be just as safe the next tip that i can give you is to be skeptical of everybody even though they may seem like the coolest person in the world they may seem like they can be your best friend ever people that practice social engineering are really good at that the person behind this camera right now can even be an amazing social engineer and trick me into being that person's friend which is Hopefully not true, but you don't want that to happen. So just be skeptical of everybody and think twice before you send them a message or before you click on a link or before you give them any kind of information. Like that share and all. Yeah, but that was pretty sick. Put you on blessed. Hell yeah. You're a social engineer. Am I, am I your best friend? Yeah. The next tip is to not take orders from anybody on the internet. If anybody's asking you to do anything for them or to open an app for them or to go on a site for them or just to do anything that seems kind of odd that you don't know the purpose behind them asking for it, it's probably malicious. Like 90% is going to be malicious. Don't be a troll. Do not be a jackass on the internet don't give people a reason to want to attack you or to be malicious towards you even though they probably can't do anything even if they can do it uh it's it's not going to be a good time for you so do not piss anybody off don't call people mean names on the dark web especially because you never know if they're a seven-year-old script kitty or they're a 25-year-old pissed off cyber criminal big difference hopefully these tips will keep you a lot more safe on the dark web if you do not want your internet service provider knowing that you're on the dark web or on tour then you need a vpn also that will support the channel don't forget that thank you for watching this video stay dreaming stay lucid i'm out peace